Hello, welcome to class. For today's topic, we are looking at national water supply and population and housing. National water supply, stroke population and housing. Okay, today we'll look at water resources, their sources, and why water is scarce. First of all, We'll look at water resources, the sources of water that are useful to human beings. Now, we have what we call surface water, which is the water that collects in ponds, rivers, lakes, or freshwater wetlands. Surface water is naturally replenished by rain. Then you have groundwater, which is located in the soil or in the pores of the crevices in rocks. Desalination is a process by which salt water is converted to fresh water. Why water is scarce? Water scarcity is when there is not enough water for all uses, whether agricultural, industrial, or domestic. Water is a precious natural resource. All living things need water for their survival. Animals, plants, humans, needed for survival. What are the uses of water? Domestic purposes, drinking, cooking, bathing, cleaning, mm -hmm. washing. Mm -hmm. All these are the various domestic purposes for which water is being used agricultural purposes include farming so we use water during farming for irrigation purposes even for the growth of crops the natural rain industrial purposes now where does the water come from the water that we use where does it come from we want to look at the sources of water sources of water now we have the rain water the groundwater and the surface water okay these are the various sources of water the rainwater is a major component of the water cycle because it deposits most of the fresh water on the earth okay so when sun heats up this water it goes back to the clouds and falls back as rain surface water is the water above ground rain fills water in rivers so surface water is those waters in the rivers, in the lakes, in the creeks, in the ponds. So these are surface water, water you can collect from the surface. Streams, all these are examples of surface water. Sea and ocean, they are all surface water. Surface water shall be consumed only after it has been properly filtered and disinfected. Now, let's look at groundwater. During the rain, some water seeps into the ground, which is called underground water. So when rain falls, some water penetrates into the ground. So this water is known as groundwater. It can be consumed using your well, your tub wells, and hand pump. So groundwater, that is how you get it. Now, this is a man-made source of water, which is tap. Tap is a man-made source of water, okay? Of course, the water comes from the natural source. We want to look at population and housing. Population and housing. What is a house? A house is a place where we live. It is one of the basic needs of man. It is a place of comfort and safety so looking at this topic housing population and housing it's very important we put up some little demo graphics as regards the data concerning housing and uh, population in every nation especially our country nigeria even the water water has to do with population too now let's look at the types of houses. We have huts, we have duplexes, we have bungalows, story building, or you call them skyscrapers. We have igloo, 
log cabin, castle, mud house. These are the various kinds of houses that we have. Now, this is the image of a mud house. This mud house is most predominant in villages in Nigeria. Now, acquiring a house, most often people could own their own houses or they could rent it. Okay, now other types of houses are duplex and skyscrapers. Now, that's the image of a duplex. Features of adequate housing. Okay, everyone has the right to adequate housing. Okay, adequate housing has to be well ventilated. It has, it should have enough space. Yes. Inadequate housing contributes to poor health. Overcrowding and lack of proper sanitary facilities can lead to higher incidences of diseases. Now, when we talk about population and housing, okay, you can see that in our country, Nigeria, there is rising population and housing deficit because when the population is high, there's bound to be housing deficit. That is, there won't be enough houses for people to live in, and it becomes a problem in the society, which leads to homelessness to some persons. Now, what is population? Population is the total number of people living within a geographical boundary, such as town, nation, or the world. So, population of our people, a population of a place, a population of a geographical zone. So, when we talk about population, we are referring to human being in this context, okay? So, when people are much in an environment, the housing will be high. The demand for housing will be high. So we're looking at the relationship between population and housing. When you have more people in a geographical setting, there's bound to be high demand for housing. And when there are low population in an area, the housing challenges will be low. Now, reasons for housing shortage in Nigeria, of course, we know that there is increase in population. Poverty, high cost of building materials, and building itself. So these are the things that make housing to be of deficit in the country. Solutions to problems of housing in Nigeria. How do we solve these problems? First, families should reduce the number of children they give birth to in as much to enable them save, save and have their own houses. Government should give um, housing loan or grants to citizens to reduce the effects of housing problem. Then the government should be involved in building and leasing to the citizens of the country. Thanks for watching. Bye.